My name's John Sear, um, I'm a keen scuba diver and underwater photographer. Five years ago, amazingly, we found these new corals which um, had not been here before. Uh, ever since then, every year we've been watching them proliferate and it's quite incredible because this coral that we've found is actually we've, um, found out it's a, a subtropical species. The next nearest colony you'll find is up near Broughton Island. So this is probably the furthest south that this coral's actually got to and it's starting to thrive down here. Scientists are very interested because this is an example of how climate change may impact um, the coastline over the years as, as waters do indeed get warmer. Today I'm fitting these uh, temperature loggers which will help scientists do some more research, identify what are perfect conditions for a coral to live in and how water temperatures are actually changing around here. They normally propagate by releasing polyps from the adults onto the surrounding rocks and then they grow from there. Which makes a bit of a mystery why this colony is actually here at all because the nearest ones are several hundred kilometres away to the north. These corals are actually occupying barren pieces of rock which is, which is very good because it's providing a new habitat for other organisms to, to live amongst the coral. At the moment it, they're filling an empty niche. Over time I think they will start to see a change, fish life and other invertebrates and things that are associated with the coral. As temperatures are warmer, different species will flourish. The more that we find out what, what's out here in the bay, the better. Since it's been made an aquatic reserve, there's a lot more fish found here. The actual numbers of fish is great. And the more you understand about the organisms and what's in here, the, the easier it will be to protect in the future.